Eric back with the Moose for the second time here this season. I guess uh, what's the feelings as you get ready for another start here with Manitoba? Uh, excitement, I'd say. I'm very excited. I mean, it's been a while since the last hockey game again. Uh, and they come far and few between, so it's been two this year. So I'm just really excited to get back out there and uh, pop back in the net and do what I love to do. It's been kind of interesting talking to a few of the guys over the last couple of days coming off that taxi squad and just the different feeling. I realize it's not a game day today, but uh, tomorrow, just the, the different feeling it, that's around the rink when you get in there on a game day. For sure. I mean, even just knowing that you're going to be in the game the next day, you have that kind of excitement, that jump on your step that you don't always have um, every single practice day. I mean, you want to have it every single practice day because you want to bring that same mentality every single day of just getting better. But there's something with uh, when you have like an end goal and a result, something result based that you look forward to that uh, just gives you a little bit of extra pep, a little bit of extra jump in your step. No, I mean, with last season being so weird for you, I mean, there was uh, moving around teams, and things like that, some long breaks in between starts. You kind of got a head start on everybody kind of getting the, your mind right for these long breaks in between. So what's it take to, to get ready and get into the right space when it's been a while since your last start? That's a good question. I think it's just about just uh, relying on what you know what to do. I mean, it's going out there and trusting your instincts. instincts. You've played a lot of hockey. At least I have played a lot of hockey in my life, and I understand – what I have to do to go out there and execute my game plan. I think that's just the biggest thing. You can't go out there and try and chase the game and try and uh, go out there and try and be perfect. You almost have to let the game come to you and whatever happens kind of happens. It's uh, it's a fine line of um, uh, almost over trying and overdoing it and overplaying things that can get into the trouble if you do that. I mean, it's uh, it's kind of a, like a weird way of putting it, but that's kind of the truth. Well, last time you got into a game with the Moose, the Stockton Heat, and as fate would have it, it's the Stockton Heat again. So what did you learn about the shooters from that side uh, your last time out against Stockton? Well, it's a, I mean, they're, they're a good team. I know they, they go to the net hard. They uh, generate a lot from their points. Uh, it's uh, very typical of what they've done for a lot of years now. i uh, played against them a couple times a uh, couple years before and uh, then this year. So it's, uh, it's funny. I always end up playing the Stockton Heat every time it's a new team and going back to the teams. When you look at a team that does have that net front presence and, and works a lot from the point, looking for those tips and that traffic in front, what kind of challenges does that present for a goaltender? I think you just got to battle, battle to see the puck, battle to look around, guys. I mean, you can't, um, you can't ever give into the screen, just kind of let the screen happen and say, "Oh, I was screened." You got to, you got to keep battling, looking through, and trying to find it the best you can. It's, uh, it's a very critical part, just battling through and trying to locate the puck and find stick blades, and that's uh, that will give you the most success if you. Uh, to that game plan. Now, it's probably not something you really think about until someone like me brings it up. But uh, if you pick up a win in one of your starts or your start with the Moose, uh, you'll take over the franchise lead uh, in that regard. What would it mean to you to set yet another franchise record for this team? That'd mean a lot. It'd be pretty special to me, especially that one wins is a uh, that's that's kind of a big one. I think it's something that I always look forward to. It's kind of a, a team stat and everything. So it's, it's something that's really important to me is how many wins I've achieved. And I think that'd be a huge honor for myself. I'm really uh, hoping I can get that. I mean, of course, I, I'm not going to look past it and just uh, only focus on I got to focus on the details of the game and make sure that everything's right and the process is right and hopefully the outcome uh, will just take care of itself.